guys welcome back to World Mechanics thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel in today's video guys if you have a BMW guys E46 this is the 3 series from uh, year 1998 to year 2006 and you're trying to figure out if your fuel pump works uh, how to test it without removing the we'll show you guys how to do that now there is two ways first one you don't need any special tools we'll show you how to check if your pump works but that doesn't give you a hundred percent confidence that the fuel pump is good why because you'll be able to hear the pump running but only for a few seconds let's say one or two seconds however sometimes when fuel pumps okay they get locked up and the fuel pump may turn for a couple of seconds and then get hot or seize and stop and uh, the only way to do that guys is we'll be using a computer here and we'll show you how we'll be diagnosing it without even removing it we guys have more than 200 videos on this car and every car we get at the shop because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. Please subscribe, like the video, leave a comment and let's go ahead and start on it now. So for first step we don't need guys any special tools at all. What do we need to do now? Let me explain quick. When you turn your car, okay, your ignition on, okay, ignition on without starting the car. Okay, let's demonstrate now. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, like that. When you see all the lights. This is your ignition on, engine off position. This is second position on the key. Now let's turn it off. Now, when you turn the ignition on at first, you'll be able to hear your pump under the rear seat usually on your E46 or right in front of the rear tire. So I'll get the camera underneath. Okay, we'll have somebody turn the ignition on and we'll listen for that sound. Okay, so listen now. That's the fuel pump. Now let's go again. Okay, that sound that says bzz, bzz, that's your fuel pump, guys. So we are able to hear that now, but only for a couple seconds and then it stops. So, how we can be sure that it works, guys? Okay, we'll be using Maxis's device here. It works on any car, not just BMW. So, uh, we'll show you how we'll do it now. Okay, even though just by listening to the pump, <laughs> eight, nine out of ten times, you'll be able to tell if it's a good one or not. Uh, another thing, you can check the fuel pressure, but you need a special tool for that to check the fuel pressure and we'll have a video on that coming coming very soon as well and what the fuel pressure should be at. So, now, what do we do now guys? Okay, let me explain to you quick. Okay, this computer works almost on any car, not just BMW guys. We have dual level equipment with that computer. You can read, delete codes from any module and computer in your vehicle. You can program, so it's quite complicated thing it will be listed in the description of the video below for your convenience please do check it out guys so we'll go under BMW we'll turn the ignition on okay like that we'll click automatic selection we'll enter our VIN number now perfect we'll click yes and now it's going to take just a little bit of time uh, to connect it will ask if we have the 20 pin round connector some E46's older ones may have that uh, under the hood so if you do there is a, there is an adapter in the in the with the computer parts that you can connect we we'll go under diagnostics we we'll select control unit we we'll select drive engine computer here guys okay and next we need to go ahead and uh, there, there will be a menu that says active test guys active test and we will select component activation right here and now if we scroll to the right we will find one that says fuel pump now when I click fuel pump it will open the menu and we will be able to activate and deactivate the pump manually your ignition needs to be on ok ignition on and listen now Okay, what is going to happen guys? Okay, I'm going to come under the vehicle now and I will manually click the button, activate and then deactivate and listen. So you can definitely hear the pump working, you can hear the gas circulating because uh, it uh, comes back in the tank uh, 
if it's too much it circulates it so you can definitely hear that it's working so that's how you guys can do it hopefully the video will be helpful to some of you guys thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time